Hello and welcome back to the Fodder Gaming Channel where I am continuing my exclusive coverage of Jurassic World Live version 2.8. In this video I'm going to be covering the newest epic hybrid of Scorpius Rex Gen 2, but before I get into the details of this creature I do have to let you know that this video is sponsored by Ludia. Ludia provided me an advanced beta copy of the game so that I could create content for you guys on these new creatures. And here it is ladies and gentlemen, your First look at Scorpius Rex Gen 2. This thing looks <laughs> I like <laughs> um I, I don't even know how to describe how this thing looks, but I mean ferocious comes to mind. But as far as that goes, the I don't I I can't even explain it. The the artist work on this was fabulous. It looks amazing. So I'm not taking away from that, but it looks Dwarpy? Is that like? <laughs> uh, but it's a fierce creature. Like this thing, it's not fierce. It's fierce cunning, but it looks. Yeah. So, um, there you go. Look at that. Like, just. <laughs> the animations on this are absolutely fabulous. I'm, we're, we'll show those off here in a minute whenever we go into battle with this thing. But. Look at this is Scorpius Rex Gen 2. As you can see, this Scorpius Rex is already level 30, so I'm not able to subtract levels off for it to give you whatever the totals would be at level 26. Make sure you are checking out the field guide as soon as it comes out. I know Matt is working really hard on that. And then you can find out where the stats are at all the different levels. I, I'd like to show you what they are at 26, just so you know the baseline. But in this situation, you're going to get the stats at level 30. It has HP of 4375, an attack of 1519, a speed of 118, no armor, and just a 10% chance to crit. Scorpius Rex Gen 2 is a hybrid between Monolophosaurus Gen 2 and Carnotaurus. Monolophosaurus Gen 2 is going to be a local four spawn, very common to find, but you're going to need a lot of it because it's 200 DNA per fusion. And then for Carnotaurus, you're going to be able to find this one um fridays it is a friday daily spawn so if you know you're looking for more carno and you can't find it that is where another thing is we have carno raids so you can get some raid dna out of that and then i believe by competing the uh, by completing the other raids each week you have the ability to or depending on your luck you have the ability to get more carno DNA out of that. Scorpius Rex Gen 2 does fuse to make Scorpius Rex Gen 3, and I will cover that in a later video. But for now, the abilities, Cunning Strike, we know what that is. Strike and Run, I think that's a new ability. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it's going to tar target the lowest HP creature for a one times attack, and then it's going to swap out. You have a cooldown of one and a delay of one. I don't know why there's a delay there unless maybe you're just pinned down and then you can't do consecutive strike and runs. You have fierce impact, which is going to be a one and a half times attack. You have quill impact, which is going to be a new move. You're going to target the highest damage opponent. Your attack is 2275. So I think that's a one and a half times attack. You're going to have a 75% chance to stun lasting one turn. You're going to reduce your opponent's damage 50% for four attacks, lasting two turns with a cooldown of two. And then you have a swap-in move called Defensive Swap-In. Now this is another new move. For yourself, you're going to increase your speed 30%. So 30% of 118 would be like 33, 34, 35. So add 35 to 118. So that's gonna put you in the 140 and change range, I believe. You're going to gain a 75% chance to dodge 66.7% of damage for two attacks lasting two turns after you swap in, but you're going to be unable to swap lasting for two turns. You're going to target your highest damage opponent. You're going to reduce their damage 50% for two attacks lasting one turn. So you're gonna swap in, reduce your opponent's damage for one turn, which would be a turn and then a counter attack of some kind. Then you can hit them with a stun. You can, you know, you can fierce impact. You've got a lot of options here. As far as resistances, you are 50% resistant to stun. You are 100% resistant to swap prevention. So you will be able to swap in and out as you want. You have a 25% 
resistance to vulnerability and a 75% resistance to speed decrease. This creature as of now does not spawn in the wild, although both of its components are relatively easy to come by. And for this creature, it's going to unlock at level 11 and then to fuse into Scorpius Rex, you're going to need to get it up to level 20. And in case you haven't seen the other videos showcasing these new creatures, I don't have the ability to really do PvP, so we are going into campaign mode to kind of show them off. And this creature is gonna, looks like it looks totally different here in the Mount Cebu lighting than it did in the DNA lab. It looks a lot more like greenish yellow and that the red, white, and blue, I don't even know markings, are, are standing out a lot more than it did back in the laboratory. But, um, you know, there's nothing really here that is going to help against Edom. We are several levels higher than Edom, but Edom has the ability to put down quite a hurting on us at 2590 and then another like 2000. That's going to be uh, 4500 that I don't think we can actually survive. <laughs> Um, we can remove their critical chance and we can, this is not going to, oh, we can reduce their damage for 50% for four turns. So hopefully, like we may actually get knocked out and ouch, this is not good news here. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that we're going to be able to get this done. Edom might get its first victory coming in with the rampage here. Oh, no. <laughs> like the marquee creature of this update just got laid out by Edom, which got run over by everything else. But it's also because it's just not a good matchup for Scorpius Rex. Scorpius Rex has nothing to take over the speed lead. And we'll try this again, but I don't think there is anything that is going to give me the speed lead here. And so what that tells me is that Scorpius Rex is really a creature that's going to need to, like, yeah, like there is nothing that's going to, it's going to reduce damage for two attacks. Okay. It's going to uh, nothing. I mean, it's just, a, it's a nice attack, but it, it's not. It doesn't affect EDOM in any way. And then we have this reduced damage, yeah. So without the ability to swap in, um, you're definitely, it's, it's definitely not, what I'm trying to say here is Scorpius Rex is a creature that is definitely going to need against a cunning creature, which you're probably not gonna put it up against. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, now that was really cool. I'm glad I went back and redid this because that was a sweet move and we're going to get knocked out anyways, but this is going to be a creature that you're definitely going to want to swap in in order to utilize it in its best potential. So there you have it. Your first look at the Scorpius Rex Gen 2. I, I think it's pretty funny that this was the first one to fill my EDOM challenge. But if we go back and look at the defensive swap in, it's a... Uh, you, you get 75% chance to dodge some damage. Um, yeah, but you know what? You don't even slow them down. So you have no way to get the speed lead. All you can do is speed yourself up, I guess. Let me double check over these moves here. Um, yeah, you increase your speed on the swap in 30%. So that is going to be a definite swap in specialist. I think you're going to want to be able to set this thing up to swap in. Other than that, I mean, 118 speed is, is fine when you're going up against resilient creatures. Against cunning creatures, you're probably going to struggle if you cannot gain that speed lead. Now, if you are able to swap in and gain that speed lead, then I think you're probably going to be in some pretty good shape. Let me know what you think of the Scorpius Rex Gen 2 down in the comments below. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe because there are going to be full coverage videos of all the new creatures for 2.8 and you don't want to miss any of those but for this one that's all i've got so until next time <laughs>